10 hours later. You done, bro? Yeah? All right, guys, so check it out. As you guys can see, we have Rick behind me getting prepared to pull off this valve cover off this car, and I'm about to tell you why. This is an F80 M3. Last week, we told you guys about the biggest failure on the uh, E-Series M3, M5, and M6 engine. I'm gonna tell you about the biggest failure on the S55 engine that comes out of the newest generation M3 and uh, happens to also be in the M4 and the M2 competition. Here in my hand, I have a crank hub. This piece right here is responsible for the whole engine's timing. The second that this goes off, the engine timing goes off and that causes uh, the valves to potentially hit the pistons and uh, next thing you know, you have a blown engine. That requires a rebuild and uh, all kinds of other things that you don't want to have to deal with. If you get lucky, you may spin it just enough to the point where the valves don't make contact with the pistons, uh, but I don't think anyone wants to be risking that. The reason why this happens is because uh, there's no pins or locking keys on this uh, stock BMW crankshaft. These engines make a lot of torque, so the second you downshift really hard, what may happen is this spins and the engine loses timing. Now, uh, you can go back in there and time this, retime this as much as you want, but if it's spun once, chances are it's gonna spin again. This is a part that you have to replace. You can't just go in there and fix this issue. Uh, a lot of people do it for preventative measures. For example, this M3 behind me is doing it as a preventative measure because he knows that he's gonna be going stage two and pushing the car with upgraded turbos and whatnot. What we replace it with right here is the maximum PSI crank hub. As you guys can see, there's two pins here for which we actually drilled two little tiny holes in the crankshaft. Um, and then also it locks into place here with the uh, chain from the oil pump and then the chain to the uh, camshaft so that in order for this to spin now, not only will I have to actually have enough force to pretty much spin on that pressure, but also would have to break these pins and keys in order for this to spin and go uh, for the engine to go off timing. We've done probably 20 to 30 cars with the maximum PSI crank up and never had an issue. We've done cars that have over 700 horsepower that are being raced on the racetrack every, each and every day. We've saved multiple cars um, preventatively, but we also had cars that come in on a tow truck that um, you know, unfortunately a couple of them did have blown engines and uh, the others luckily did not have blown engines. We were able to go in there and replace it with this maximum PSI keyed crank hub. For those of you wondering how much this uh, service costs, it's about $4,000 with everything said and done. But hey, $4,000 for saving about $25,000 of worth of headache if you blow your engine on the racetrack or even uh, you know doing spirited driving in a canyon, I say is well worth it. A lot of guys spend much more than that on engine warranties. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the valve cover, remove the oil pan, get this out, drill the crank, Put the new uh, maximum PSI two-piece crank hub, uh, keyed crank hub in there. Retime that engine, put everything back together and have this car back on the road within about a day or two. So if you are looking to get this job done, go ahead and give us a call or email today. Remember, this is a job that should be done by a BMW specialty shop only because it does require the use of specialty tools and the requirement of having those specialty tools in order to get it done. With that said, we have extensive experience doing this job, so we'll get it done for you and get it done right the first time. Go ahead and feel free to give us a call. We'll be more than happy to walk you through exactly how it's done, along with give you a list of the exact parts that are replaced during the process. Thank you so much for watching.